I was studying one morning recently when the Holy Spirit fired this as a revelation that the ultimate proof of power in the life of a believer is and God said and there was and God said and there was that means like God when you say and there is power is at work in your life the highest manifestation of power in the life of a believer is the ability to use words to create possibilities that are consistent with what you have said and God said and there was verse 4 and God saw that what he said that was was good this is the definition of true spiritual power that you sustain the agency to say and then it manifests and that what manifests is good you are truly powerful can i tell you this no matter what you do in this kingdom if you do not get to a point where your words are powerful that what you say happens you will never be able to reveal the glory of god and manifest the glory of god and god said and there was and since i have been created in his image and likeness i should be able to say my path is as a shining light and let it be that my path is truly as a shining light and then i see it manifest that it is good do you know you are a real blessing when you can say over yourself and over people and it happens preachers this is the prayer point go and pray lord and grace me with such dimension of your spiritual power that my speakings will never be barren if i say let it be if i say let it be that way your prayer becomes profitable because you are not making empty words in the name of jesus i declare that my path is as a shining light shining ever brighter in the name of jesus i declare that when men say there is a casting down for me there is a lifting up you are speaking and you know that what you are saying will happen how many things have you said that happened that is a ratio or that is a degree of spiritual power that is at work in your life my god that means i can look at someone and and just tell you in the name of jesus may the lord turn your life around or in the name of jesus may doors open if it does not happen it's proof that you need to press for higher levels of power god who is the ultimate reference shows us his definition of power the ability to say and have it happen question what did you say about your family this year did it happen what did you say about your finances this year did it happen what did you say about your destiny this year did it happen if it did not happen you robbed yourself of revealing the glory of god to an extent it is a call to go back swallow your pride tonight come to the school of the spirit don't you know in his hands are the keys to eternal life so little here a little there then your day will come is that working you changing everything So everyone is left with this benchmark what did you say over someone's life did it happen has it happened will it happen the day people note you for saying and then it happens it is called integrity integrity is integer from the word sameness that what you say and what manifests is the same this is beyond just having a positive character and engracing from heaven that you can tell someone who is crying and come to them and say in the name of jesus christ who are you i'm a child of god 
and all these pastors no can i speak over your life and you say father tomorrow by this time tomorrow by this time listen well, help, help those under the anointing when you say and it does not happen there is no power in your life this thing is not magic this thing is not fake if it is not there brothers and sisters it is not there you can't do end time ministry without power you can give all kinds of explanations I just sense that there is such a move I just started sensing this by the spirit of God when you say and it happens that is power there are many empty people doing ministry today just moving around with Greek and Hebrew jargons and no life is blessed we, there is a lot of noise in the church but there is no performance my God will do this but this one will have, I'm not being sarcastic listen you must get to a point where your words are precious well, you don't throw your words like a gun or like arrows wasted. But if and when they come out, like the words of, of someone who is, who is with, with surgical precision, who will ignore you when your words happen as they say? Archbishop Benson in the host in his lifetime. I remember a certain time. Please help them. I remember a certain time. This was a story. He was holding a crusade in a stadium. And while he was holding that crusade in the stadium, it looked like the weather and people were not going to come because of the rain. He stood there and he made a decree that the weather would stand still and that the people wherever they were across the knee. That he was calling them by prophecy and i'm telling you it was like magic you hear some of these stories you think that they are exaggerated this was how people started feeling like something was drawing them to the stadium you want to manifest the glory of god do not ignore power it's more than just touching people the fact that you have to do something is a limitation in that flow the phone that you connect to a wire and the phone that you talk wireless which one is more expensive those days when there was nitel from any house to any house they would connect and connect and once it rains you have to carry a ladder and keep moving around right now there are cell phones from anywhere no physical line but with one dial you will call somebody from the ends of the earth if technology can do that can the words on your mouth go to someone's home go to someone's life enter someone's body without a knife without the surgery of a knife in the name of jesus let me speak over you i don't know what it is that has stood against you but by the power that raised christ from the dead i bring it down this night listen we didn't invent these things we learned them from the fathers that have gone ahead of us when they spoke they laughed at them noah spoke and said god told me a rain is coming they laughed at him and he began to build an ark as proof that what he said would come to pass listen to me part of the teachings you are receiving is training you if you're a man of God here, I'm encouraging you again. By and large, you will get to a point in ministry where if your words do not carry the power of performance, believe me, you will be as accurate and sincere as possible, but you will live a defeated and frustrated life. There was one footballer that came for koinonia one time a gentleman who came and told me he was playing and things were not working and i looked at him i said my friend i don't play professional football but there is an anointing that can distinguish people i told him i said do you believe it and he laughed 
I said, don't laugh. I don't know how many men of God you have met in your life, but don't you make a mistake of believing everybody is the same. And he said, I believe. And I said, fine. In the name that is above all names, I told him, I said, I place a grace upon you that this grace will announce you across Europe. And I tell you, it was like wildfire. This gentleman just went and it was as if there was a force. Today, what God is doing in and through his life. The head of PR is here. Abuja, Lekon is here. He would, I think he's not here. There is this boxer called Anthony Joshua. His family members are currently in Abuja waiting because they believe that there is a dimension of the prophetic that you can receive. Can I tell you this? Brothers and sisters, please hear me. When your words become empty, people will be tired of saying amen. People are not stupid people. Amen means let it be so. Let it be so. Let me pray for everyone here. Whatever spiritual level you are in, by the power of the prophetic word, I shift you to a new prophetic level. I shift you to a new prophetic level. A new level of signs and wonders. A new level of grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. When the storm of wind arose, Jesus turned to the wind and with one sentence, he said, Peace, be still. And the wind, and they said, What manner of man is this? That the winds and the waves obey him. That means there are lives that are going under all kinds of storm. If you sustain power, genuine power, you can carry the power of the Holy Ghost and stand before people and say, I am the manifestation of the glory of God. Usually they will laugh at you, but then you speak to every storm. Peace be still. My prayer all the time is, Oh God, continue to multiply this grace, not for the sake of pride. Number one, so that my life will become like the life of Jesus in experience. Do you know how many people's lives are at the mercy of words that work? Academic problems, problems of fertility, problems of evil, problems of wickedness, witches and wizards sitting on the destinies of men. Tomorrow is our graduation for school of ministry. Friday is miracle service. How is the miracle service carried out? Words. That is it. Words. What is ministry? The communication of the counsel of God. And the grace that makes for performance through words. Pray in one minute that from tonight your words will not be empty again. 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 Empty words that bring shame and dishonor to the name of the Lord. Pray. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. Please look at me. Look at me. We're going to find a place to pray. Let me show you a scripture. Saniski la branda gabroski badiada. Power.
there was a man that in scripture had an encounter with Jesus he was called the centurion listen to what happened he came to Jesus and he said my little daughter is sick unto death please can you come to my house and help her and Jesus said I will honor you you are a centurion I will come and then the man said no for I am a man under authority and by reason of the authority I am under I say to one go and he goeth I say to one come and he cometh I say to one do this so the real secret of power is more than prayer and fasting the real secret of power is submission first to the authority of Jesus Christ then number two submission to the authority that God has put you under I'm giving you a big secret the man said I am under authority and remember what Apostle James taught us he says submit yourselves therefore before the mighty hand of God then resist the devil and he will flee I am under the authority of the Roman government I can say to one go without being there physically and he will go I can say to one come and he will come do this and he will do it if he does not do it is to the shame of the Roman government what he was saying is Jesus I know you are not on your own listen I hope that I'll have a time to teach you Jesus never called himself father when he was on earth if he ever called himself father because signs and wonders is not with the father signs and wonders is with the son are you seeing that now Jesus came and said I am the son he kept saying I am the son I am even though I am equal with God the moment I say I am father because when it has to do with power and authority the one above has to empower the one below that's how it works so Jesus said I am the son of God he kept saying it there is an, a government above me man of God it is not because you have fasted and prayed and you get up and say do this no authority consciousness blessed is he who comes the triumphant entry blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord not in his name you don't come in your name silver and gold I do not have you see the apostles now the secrets of their power but such as I have in the name this name that we have come under the sons of Sceva had zeal but they said Jesus I know we see the authority that backs him Paul I know we see the authority that backs him but who are you brothers and sisters you don't just talk and things happen believe me this is not magic the authority that sends you is the authority that backs you is the authority that defends you there are three major purposes of authority number one provision number two protection number three promotion authority provides the authority that sends you provides when i send thee lackest thou anything number two he will protect you the lord is my shepherd i shall not want he 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 makes me lie down in green pastures he restores my soul he it is he not i he makes me he does this my job if he's shepherd i must admit i am sheep i am the vine you are the branches you see how it works we desire to see the power of god at work in our lives but the dynamics is that we must understand that it takes the law of submission genuine sincere submission if you submit to a man and you don't submit to the authority of heaven you will still not be powerful because it is first from god through men to men the principal authority is the authority of heaven my goodness 
do you know the authority of God is so formidable and powerful when a man comes under that authority you become a sign and a wonder ordinary you but marvelously helped by God authority if I give you my ATM and there is 10 naira or 20 naira in that ATM when you hold the ATM and slot it the machine will not refuse to give you money and say you are not the owner the fact that the owner trusted you with that ATM what you are seeing here is an ATM that is bigger than me now it is God's ATM God's ability it's God's ability it's working in me it's working in me it's God's ability God's ability it's working in me it's working in me Let me say this humorously. Someone asked me a question one time and said, a dear wonderful friend, and he said, but Apostle, you are amazing. How do you leave Zaria and go to the Federal Capital Territory and then get the most expensive facility in that place? You have never raised a second offering. You don't have official partnership. There is nobody who is a major partner or sponsor. And as far as we know, you are not a thief, you are not a criminal, you are not doing money laundry. And then it's one thing to have a facility, but then to now bring people into that facility. You can be rich, but money does not call people. And I told him, I said, my dear one, look at me. Use your brain, not your eyes. Use your brain and size me from head to toe you went to school can a man like this produce that kind of result no no we have to be honest just look at me with your intelligence that you went through the 6334 system to get can a man like this do you know how long it takes for people to believe you before they come to listen to you for I am a man under authority I say to one go and he goeth I say to one come and he cometh then I say to one do this these are the major things we need in our lives something or someone to go something or someone to come something or someone to do something and he says all happens because I'm a man under authority Jesus you are under the authority of the father and on the strength of the backing of your government you can tell one go you can tell one to come and as a result of that what happens there is immunity that comes with you the backing protection provision when I sent you lackest thou anything if I got up and took myself to Abuja for instance I would have returned in shame with a serious lesson would have done a weekend conference learning lessons from not hearing God well but when I send thee lackest thou anything listen to me you need the power of God there are many of you you are grounded right now in your life because you have been saying things that have not happened. 